Hey guys, with Breath of the Wild coming out for the Nintendo Wii U and the Switch recently, I figured why not make a top 5 Zelda games of all time, so let's get to it! And now, before any of you guys lose your mind on me, this is my personal top five, and it may vary from yours. Number five on my list is Skyward Sword for the Nintendo Wii. This game came out and it was really well received. It got perfect scores by a lot of magazines and had amazing motion controls, something that had never been done before in a Zelda game, and it really broke new ground for the series. I feel like this game really laid the groundwork for what Breath of the Wild became, and it still holds up really well. Skyward Sword released in 2011 and the Wii U released in 2012, so a lot of people missed this game because it was towards the end of the Wii's life cycle. If you haven't played this one, definitely check it out if you get the chance. At number 4 I'm going to be going with The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. It also came out for the Game Boy Color, but this is the one that I played through multiple times and have the most experience with. It's the same game, it's just one of them's in color and the other one's the regular Game Boy palette. The reason why this is number 4 on my list is because it's a portable game and it gave you the true Zelda experience that blew my mind. I can't believe they were able to fit all the information on this tiny little cartridge back in the day. Phenomenal cosmic powers! The storyline for this game was completely new and spanned an entire island of dungeons and mysteries to uncover and it was a lot of fun. This one still holds a special place in my heart today. Unlike most Zelda titles, Link's Awakening is set outside the Kingdom of Hyrule. Instead, the game takes place entirely on an island. One of my favorite parts about this game was the glitch where you could press select while you're transitioning through screens and it would actually warp you to the edge of the next screen. Doing so would open up a whole new game because you could skip events and do things in different orders that were not intended, and it was a lot of fun to be able to play a game where it wasn't even designed to be played that way. Number 3 on my list is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. This game was mind-blowing at the time, a 3D graphic engine beyond the scope of any Zelda game ever made back then, and I remember when it came out, it was even too advanced for me to comprehend how great this game really was. I had to replay this game multiple times to really grasp how awesome this game was. Originally developed for the 64DD peripheral, the add-on for the N64 that actually never made its way stateside. Instead, the game was released on a 256 megabit cartridge, the largest capacity cartridge Nintendo had ever produced at the time. Ocarina of Time's gameplay introduced features such as the target lock system and the context-sensitive buttons that have become a staple in all the 3D adventure games going forward. And many people outside myself consider this game to be the greatest Zelda game ever made. And coming in at number 2 all time in my top 5 Zelda games is Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. The reason why this game is so great is because it spanned two different worlds, the light world and the dark world multiple dungeons, going after the Master Sword. The quest was just ginormous for the time, and it was one of the first games that I ever really truly felt a genuine sense of accomplishment after completing it. It's a lot of fun, and definitely play this one if you haven't already. It's crazy to think, but looking back now, A Link to the Past introduced a lot of things to the series that are still in use today, like the Master Sword, the Hookshot, the Spin Attack technique, the pieces of heart containers that you put together, this game was groundbreaking on so many levels, and for a long time it was my favorite Zelda game ever made. So when I heard that there was a sequel coming out for the 3DS, I was beyond excited. And speaking of, I might as well talk about it now as an honorable mention. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds was an incredible game in its own right. This game introduced new features such as the wall merging mechanics and the item rental system, and the storyline for it was extremely engaging. It's one of the few games that I can remember in recent memory that lived up to the incredible amount of hype it had going into it. Now before I get to number one, I want to talk about a few honorable mentions that I'm sure a few of you would have had on your list. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now from my memory, this is the first game that actually departed from the streamlined story of Zelda that would actually didn't follow the plot of the other ones, didn't follow the same go to the dungeon, get the item, progress to the next. This one was totally different. It was a race against time before the day turned to the next day. And in my opinion, it was truly ahead of its time. But also not for everybody. 
for my money, I feel like this game was way better than what people gave it credit for. And that's starting to show now. Now a lot of you guys think I'm crazy for not including this one in my top 5, the original Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The reason why this didn't make my top 5 is because the Zeldas that came after it are just so much better. This one laid the groundwork for an incredible series and stands on its own as one of the best games ever made. But there is still five better Zelda games than it since this came out. And that's unbelievable to me how good this series is. And one last quick honorable mention, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This one's the HD version for the Wii U, but the original one for the Wii was really good too. They made some minor improvements with the boat system in this one to speed it up a little bit, but this was groundbreaking in its own right as far as taking a boat throughout the entire world and traveling through different islands. It was a truly massive game and really felt like you were exploring the great wide open in this. Alright, and if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm going to talk about my number one Zelda ever made. It's kind of obvious, but here it is anyway. Legend of Zelda Link's Crossbow Trading. No, I'm totally kidding. Although that was a fun game. But no. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch and the Wii U. I'm still playing this game, I'm about 16 to 18 hours into it right now. And it is insanely good. I cannot believe how awesome this game is. I read these reviews and I was like, yeah, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. It's a typical Zelda. Minor improvements. No. No. This game is like beyond anything I've ever played before in my entire life. This is, dare I say, the best game I have ever played. This could be the game that actually saves Nintendo. It's selling the Switch like crazy right now, even though it's on the Wii U, and it is so much fun. It really reminds you how awesome Nintendo is as making games. And a little side note to Nintendo, I'm sorry I bitched you out on earlier videos about how much you suck at life, because man, you guys make up for it with awesome games sometimes. And this kind of goes without saying if you couldn't tell from what I already told you, but if you haven't played this game yet, go buy it and go play it. It is awesome. That's all I'm going to say about it, because I don't want to ruin any surprises. Anyways, that's my top 5 Zelda games of all time, and this was really hard to do. Like, insanely hard to do, because once I got going through all my Zelda games, I was like, okay, I'll just pick these five. Oh wait, I forgot about this one. I'll put that one. Oh wait, I forgot about this one. These games are so good. I can't even imagine the type of person that wouldn't like at least one of these, and if that's the case, it's your fault because these games are awesome. That's all I got for you guys today, so I'm going to assume you didn't agree with my list for the most part. But I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. I posed the question on Facebook earlier and got a lot of good responses from people that varied widely from mine. And that's what makes this series so great. Games that aren't even on my top five can completely make up someone else's top five. That's how awesome all these games are. And needless to say, if you're not really into Zelda, now's as good a time as any to get into the series. So give it a shot. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you later.